I feel like I'm a news anchor. I look like I'm a news anchor right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and I am going to do a little bit of a review on The Little Mermaid limited edition 30th anniversary doll set. I have all of them here, so Let's go and take a closer look at all of them. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to take a look at is the standard Vanessa doll. That is this one. Isn't it magic? So this is the standard Vanessa doll from the Disney store and she retails at 90 pounds when she was available, but I think she sold out online in about a minute like that. Very, very fast. She is a very, very sought after doll. People have been asking for her for years. She's a very, very popular character. If you don't know who Vanessa is, Ursula is the bad guy from The Little Mermaid. We all know that. But when she steals Ariel's voice, she uses that and traps it into her seashell necklace, which is on the doll right there. She steals Ariel's voice, puts it into the seashell necklace, and when she's almost thwarted by Ariel and Eric's true love, she uses the voice from inside the seashell to put Prince Eric into a trance as she has transformed herself into Vanessa, her evil alter ego. And yeah, so that is where Vanessa has come from. That is who Vanessa is. Let's take a closer look. Okie dokie, so Vanessa, she is one of 2,000. This is the standard Vanessa. There's only 2,000 in the world. So let's open up this at the back. Um, we're gonna take a look at what it says on the back here as well. So this just reads, in celebration of the 30th anniversary of The Little Mermaid, the Disney store is proud to present the worldwide limited release Vanessa doll. With carefully crafted details, this intricately designed doll captures the villain villainous alter ego of Ursula, the sea witch, a cunning collector of poor unfortunate souls. Uh, Ursula's unscrupulous disguise is reflected in this doll as she attempts to thwart the budding true love between Ariel and Eric. I swear I literally said that. Like five minutes ago. Her devilish smile brings to life her wicked persona, while her constructed bodice and sparkling sequins provide the finishing touches for a look that's devious and divine, creating more waves of terror as her, is her iconic seashell necklace, which traps Princess Ariel's voice. Designed and carefully crafted by the Disney Store artists, this limited edition doll is a delightfully wicked must-have for Disney fans and collectors alike. So that is what it says on the back here, and then it's all in French underneath. Let's open up the box. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. I really like the plastic on these. I like the, the shape of the box. It's, I want to say, hexagonal sort of shape. It's an interesting shape. It's not their standard square boxes. Um, and at the bottom here, we've got the seashell necklace. And it says Vanessa, limited edition, one of 2,000. And up the top, we've got the Little Mermaid 30th anniversary logo just there. Okay, that's the Vanessa box. And here we have Vanessa in all her glory. She is gorgeous. I really really love this Vanessa. She's got brown hair. I keep saying really nice so I'm going to attempt to not say really nice. She's got rhinestones on her bodice just here, little gems, really sweet. Kind of like a satin fabric on the bodice and we've got the sequin panels going down the front of the, the skirt. Chiffon kind of feel fabric here and there's a lot of details on the bottom of there so there's more rhinestones and there are also, there's also a lot of embroidery detail at the bottom of that as well. So she really is a stunning doll. There's, there's, there's a lot of detail on her. I love her face, her simple makeup, but a very, very dark red lip. And yeah, she's got her wickedly devilish smile on her face, so love. There was one thing I was really annoyed about with my Vanessa because I was, I camped out overnight for her and there was, we didn't know how many there were gonna be and I was panicking the whole night through because I was 19th in line and I don't think I've ever been that far back in the line before. But it turns out there were 20 Vanessas so I managed to literally just get one but I didn't have, when we were at the till point, the last two of us were like at the till point so I didn't have a choice of, of Vanessas. But other than this one little thing, she's perfect. So her eyelash on this side, her eyelashes, she's got rooted lashes, but the ones that are on this side here, they're kind of like, they're going the wrong way. I don't know if that's gonna show up or if you're gonna be able to see, but her lashes are going the wrong way on one of those. But she, she does look gorgeous. She looks very, very evil, wickedly evil. But yeah, so that there is Vanessa. She is very, very similar to the D23 Vanessa, so I'm going to look at her next so we can compare the two. And D23 Vanessa is just here. 
Ping. They look pretty much the same, right? They do look very, very similar. There are enough differences between the two of them though to make it worth getting both of them. D23 Vanessa, she retailed at $159.95. She is a limited edition of 1,000 and there are subtle differences and I think the back does say the difference. No, the back of this is exactly the same as the back of this. It's got the same description on the back there. And the boxes are pretty much identical apart from the D23 logo, which is at the bottom of this box just here. And okay, I'm going to take her out of the plastic so we can see her a little bit clearer. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. The differences between the two Vanessas this Vanessa has a very, very shiny purple skin. She's got definitely got a, a sheen to her, so she looks very shiny. She comes with a cloak that this one doesn't come with. So the cloak has got like a leather like rim going all the way around the outside, and it comes all the way down to the bottom just here. And then the rest of it is a velvety kind of finish. This is the cloak that she wears when she's walking along the beach, when she uses Ariel's voice to catch Prince Eric will trap him in her thrall. And then she's also got a hairpiece, which I think is a really, really nice touch because that's the hairpiece that she has when she is singing with a stolen set of pipes in the mirror when she's caught by Scuttle. So you can see that there just at the top. But aside from that, they are very, very similar. Fabric on the bodice is slightly different. There are a lot more rhinestones on the D23 version. She's got very similar makeup, but her skin is just a lot more shiny. And she also has purple streaks in her hair so she's she's different enough for it to warrant getting and being happy that you got both of them but yeah other than that they're pretty much identical same face same sculpt everything maybe there's a little bit more embroidery on this i'm not sure i don't know they are very very similar but they are both very gorgeous so those are our two vanessas d23 and standard Vanessa. Did you manage to get hold of either of these? Let me know in the comments down below and tell me which one your favorite is. Do you prefer the shiny skin or do you prefer the standard human non-shiny Vanessa? And that is pretty much it. Vanessa is done. Let's now move on to the Ariels, my favorite. Okay, so moving on from Vanessa, we have our very own Little Mermaid celebrating her 30th anniversary. Let's take a look first at Mermaid Ariel. Here she is. She is absolutely 100% my favourite Ariel doll ever released by any company who ever made dolls ever. I used to carry around one of the original ones, I think it was like a Sambro or Sa Sa Simba or something like that. One of those vintage ones that came out in the 90s. I would carry her around with me everywhere. I have always been a huge fan of Ariel and I don't think that's ever going to change. Here we have the 30th anniversary limited edition Mermaid Ariel doll from the Disney store. This retailed at £90 in the UK, and she is a limited edition, one of 5,500. So there are a lot more of this Ariel than there are of any other doll in this set. Let's take a look at the box first. She has a very, very iridescent, shiny box. It's a gorgeous green colour. The background of the box is also very iridescent. It literally looks like she has just come out of the sea. She's swimming, she's reaching up into part of someone else's world, waiting for Prince Eric. So she hasn't met Eric yet. Well, she could have done. She could have saved him. I don't know how far along in the movie we are with this one, but yeah, this is Ariel. I am obsessed with her. I'm so pleased that I managed to get her. It went pretty smoothly. I was 19th in the line, as I said before. There were 30 Ariel dolls there. There were only 30 of these in the Disney store, which seems like it's a huge amount, but for Oxford Street, um, Oxford Street is the flagship Disney store in the UK, so they always get more than everyone else. They got six of the platinum set in the store, which is a very, very small amount. It's the smallest amount of the platinum sets they've ever had, I think, because they usually get about 15. So I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get the platinum set where I was, and I'd have to get it online, so I managed to get it online, so you'll see that in a bit. Back to Ariel. Okay, so the back of this box, I'm just going to read here. It says, the Disney Store is proud to present the worldwide limited release Ariel doll celebrating the 30th anniversary of The Little Mermaid. Since Ariel first splashed onto the screen, she has captured the world's imagination with her beauty and bubbliness. A truly unique princess, Ariel's confidence, courage, and charm are captured in this beautifully crafted doll. Sparkling details include a sequined tail and a delicate flat sea flower in her flowing hair. Gems, beading, and metallic broidery make this exquisite limited doll 
limited at all. Limited edition doll, shimmer like sunlight on water. Designed by Disney store artists, it is a must have for collectors and fans who want to make Ariel part of their world. That is a very nice little touch. I feel like I'm a news anchor. I look like I'm a news anchor right now. So here, with the weather, we have Ariel. So I'm gonna open this up so we can take a closer look, but look how nice and shiny that is on the back. It's a really nice iridescent green, shiny purple and pink, and all the colors of the rainbow is very, very, very sweet. I am, um, I love it. Da da da, da da da, da da da, da 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 da. Coming out of the box, and into my heart. So this Ariel, we got at the bottom of that plastic there, you can see Ariel limited edition, one of 5,500. And then it's got the Ariel logo at the top there. And around the top, you've just got some seaweed and a sea flower. That's the sea flower that she puts in her hair or one when she's picking it and she's saying, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me. That's, that's what that is there. Okay, so that can go in here. Oh, I'll give you a little fun fact of the Little Mermaid as well. So Jodie Benson, the voice of Ariel, when they were recording part of your world in the studio, they turned off all of the lights in the studio so that Jodie Benson could feel like she was deep under the sea as she was singing Part of Your World. It made her feel a lot more small so that she was... It just felt more real to her as she was singing it. Big fan of fun facts. Let's talk about Ariel for a second. So Ariel here has gorgeous red hair as you would expect. She has beading in her hair like little pearls which are very very sweet. Her bra is slightly different to her previous bra which I think is good because this is so much better. Everything about this Ariel doll is better than the original one in my opinion. We've got some really nice sequins on her tail. She's literally just looks like she's reaching up to get out of the sea and into Eric's world. This is the first time we've seen Ariel with a new hand as well, so as as like lame as I sound for pointing it out, she has a different hand that is it's, it's like curling over like this rather than the standard that, like the other hand here where they just, you know, the Disney princess like hand style thing that they do. She has got bracelets on both of her wrists that match the dangly part of her bra here, which has got another little gem on the bottom of it. In the middle of her bra, you can see there is a seashell that very closely resembles Ursula's seashell, which steals her voice. Uh, the tail at the bottom, her fins, they're very, very similar to the original Ariel's fins. I think it's, this, it's very much the same. There's embroidery detail, there's loads of gems. The bottom part is very, very similar, but the sequins on this one are so much smaller than the, it was like chiffon fins on the other one, scales or something. And it just looked, it was very, very big. So yeah, very different. I like the, addi the addition of, of the fins on the side here. They add some sort of royal depth to her, I guess. Um, she's got rooted lashes, she's got a really soft face, um, but like a curious face. So you can see her eyebrows, she's kind of raising her eyebrows so that she's she's looking a little bit like she's, she's she doesn't belong there or something. And then there's beadwork all around the sides of her, her bra as well. I think that was in a, a late edition as well. It wasn't in the original, original concept pictures, I think. I'm not entirely sure, don't quote me. You can see how gorgeous her face is and how soft her, her facial expression is along with those beads that are in her hair and she's got that flower in her hair as well. I am a very big fan of this Ariel. She's got multiple different points of articulation. She can move at the waist. But yeah, that is pretty much Mermaid Ariel. So let's take a look at D23 Ariel just there. She is Gorgeous. I love her in this dress. I love this outfit. I love everything about it. The box is again very iridescent, but it's a pinky iridescent and it's got a yellow ribbon instead of a purple ribbon like the other one. Slightly different on the back because it is a completely different doll with a different outfit. So I will read the back here. When the beautiful bold mermaid falls in love with Prince Eric, she willingly makes a deal with Ursula the sea witch, exchanging her voice in order to become human. The red haired beauty is enchanting in a meticulously detailed gown featuring delicate lace trim, a pleated and ruffled bod bodice, puff sleeves and brocade corset. She is perfectly gowned for elegant dining at Prince Eric's palace or waltzing with him beside the sea. Designed and crafted by Disney store artist this limited edition doll is ready to bring a touch of romance to Disney fans and collectors alike. That is what the back of this one says. Very slightly different to the mermaid Ariel because it's obviously detailing the outfit that she's wearing. D23 Ariel, she is a limited edition of 1,000. So there's only 1,000 available. Massive thank you to Billy for picking this up for me from D23. He was actually at the exhibition. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very sad that I wasn't there, but 
very thankful to you, Billy, for picking this up. Um, and she retailed at $159.95. There is a slight difference in price from the two of them, but not over the top crazy. Fun fact about this scene as well, the scene where Ariel is wearing this pink dress, she, uh, she's obviously going to dinner with Prince Eric in his castle. And if you look up onto the wall, as you're watching that scene, you'll be able to see a load of portraits on the wall. One of those portraits is actually Prince Philip and Princess Aurora. Aurora is in her blue dress and they're just standing there. He's like stood behind her, but you can very clearly see that it is those two on the wall in this scene. So keep your eyes peeled for that. It kind of suggests that Prince Eric and Prince Philip or Princess Aurora are related some way. So second cousins or something? I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Princess Ariel in her pink gown. I love her. I don't love her as much as I love this Ariel because this is just like classic Little Mermaid. She's a mermaid. But this dress is just stunning. I absolutely love it. It got quite a lot of flack originally for not being quite movie accurate, but I would say that it's very accurate to what dresses would like look like at the time that it was set. So there is a lot of detail going on, a lot more detail than any normal person would would wear in today's society. There's huge amounts of detail on this. We can take a look and you can see she has her gold necklace, matches the gold hair piece that she's got in her hair. And you can see in the background of this, you can see it's in the dining hall where they went for dinner. So there is embroidery detail on all of her puffed sleeves, on her bodice and on the dress down here as well. And then at the bottom, she's got lace trim, which kind of looks like curtain trim, but I can deal with it because it just goes really nicely overall. I love the gold detailing on this dress. I love the pink on the dress. There is literally nothing about this I don't like. I love everything about her. She's got her rooted lashes and as you can see her facial expression is slightly different from the mermaid Ariel. She's got a very soft eyebrows. She looks a little bit more content and a little, a little bit less, uh, not confused, but there's less longing in her in her face because of her eyebrow expression. That's how I would describe it. But that there is the D23 Ariel with all the details of her pink dress. Did you manage to get hold of D23 Ariel? Did you manage to get hold of Mermaid Ariel? Let me know in the comments down below, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer Mermaid or D23? I probably do prefer the Mermaid doll, but I am so pleased to have both of them because it's such an important part of who I am as a person and how much I love the Little Mermaid. So I'm very, very pleased to have the two of them in my collection. Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? No, because you haven't got to the platinum set yet. So let's take a look at the platinum set. Okay, let's take a look at the platinum set. Put them together and what have you got? Here we have the wedding set, Ariel and Eric wedding set. So you can see on the front, you've got the gorgeous display box with the frosted glass style plastic around the top and the bottom and the sides. Um, on the front here, it says Ariel and Prince Eric collector's doll set, limited edition, one of 710. A very strange number to have. It's usually like 500 or 300 or something like that. It's very odd to have 710, but here we have it. I'm glad to have it. This retail at 350 pounds so it's also a lot cheaper than they usually are but I am aware that it's a lot more expensive in the States I think it was 750 dollars in the States which I think is a disgusting price difference it's too much okay so on the back here it says uh, collector doll set the Disney store is proud to present the worldwide limited edition Ariel and Prince Eric wedding doll set celebrating the Little Mermaid's 30th anniversary revel in this classic story that's more than an undersea fantasy but a tale that lives on in our imaginations and beyond the carefully crafted details the fantastical romance between Ariel and Prince Eric is beautifully captured beginning with Ariel's wedding gown we bring up our free-spirited underwater princess above ground in spectacular fashion. Intricate details include her elegantly embroidered skirt, gemstone crown and flowing veil, all together to evoke beauty and power. Prince Eric is featured in a stunning gold trimmed jacket with matching vest underneath. His belt and sword are the perfect finishing touches that complete his royal look. Beautifully designed by Disney Store artists, this limited edition wedding doll set is a must have for collectors and fans alike. There we have it. That is that. Is that. So let's take a look at, oh, and also the top of the box, it says The Little Mermaid. It's very, very nice. You can see what they look like from the top of the box. Let's open this up and take a look inside. Oh, I forgot to show you how it opens. It opens up the front. We've got magnets at the top here, magnets at the bottom as well, and there is a magnet behind here. So this door just flaps open like this to reveal Ariel. This one flaps open like this 
to reveal Prince Eric. Do, 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 do. Now we can stay all day in the sun. I don't know what these are at the bottom. They kind of look like eyebrows. I don't know if you're even going to see them. These tiny little golden eyebrows. So here we have Ariel, Prince Eric, and Max. There are two things about this that I don't like, and I will detail those before I start about start talking about what I do love. So we can get them out of the way. First thing, I really wish that Max had been a bit bigger because he is not in scale with Ariel and Eric. If he was from the bottom of this box to where he is now, that would be in scale. He would be the right sort of size. But this is like like a puppy kind of Max. He's not life size. He's not like not life size. He's not in scale with Ariel and Eric. So it kind of just looks odd. So that's the that's the the main thing. Like I kind of wish that he just either wasn't there or was the right size. I would love him to be the right size, but. It, it, it really just does bug me that he's not the right size. And then the other thing that really annoys me about this is the, just the finishing on the dress. Aside from this, I think it's stunning, but the finishing on this bit here, as this comes down to the bottom, it kind of just, it just ends. I know that sounds stupid, but it, it, I don't know, it just looks a bit odd, like it's like it should be a bit more detailed. The way it ends is just very ab abrupt, and you can cut, you can see like the fabric in the inside as well, which is just a bit weird. But yeah, I wish it was just finished a little bit better on those bits. Other than that, though, I love it. Ariel is very accurate to how she is in the screen uh, on the on, in the movie. Her face is stunning. It's the same sculpt and paint job as the D twenty three one. So she's got her very soft content eyebrows, I'm gonna say content. Whereas like her mermaid has got her longing eyebrows where she's she's kind of doing something with her face to like look as if she's longing to be somewhere else. Whereas this Ariel, she's content, she's happy, she's good. And I love that. The other thing that I really, really love is that when they did get married in the movie, King Triton throws up his like trident and puts a rainbow in the sky. So if you look carefully behind the two of them, you can see there is a really shiny, shimmery rainbow behind them. And I think that's a really, really nice touch that they've added in there, because they didn't have to do that. They could have done, they could have done like a boat sort of scene or something, which I think they kind of have, because the bottom of it is like a shiny wood grain effect on the bottom of, of the box just there. I'm hoping that, that, sh that shows up, I'm not sure if it's going to, but there's like a wood grain effect. But yeah, so stunning overall, really, really gorgeous. I love the embroidery detail on her bodice. It's got gems and rhinestones. Her hair is gorgeous. I love the curls in her hair. It's got very, very puffy sleeves, very 80s, which is exactly as it was supposed to be. Aside from that, she's gorgeous. She's got a uh, little pearl sort of beads in her in her veil which is a really it's a very very 80s veil it's very accurate to the movie and she's got a golden tiara a golden crown at the top there with rhinestones in there as well and that matches her I don't know if you can see those earrings can you see them yeah she has earrings just at the bottom there so hopefully those are going to show up um maybe they'll show up maybe they won't and Prince Eric is incredibly detailed I love his vest that's underneath his jacket I love the colors it's not movie accurate for him because this is what he's wearing when Vanessa has tricked him, but I I still love it anyway. It's very, 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 very detailed and absolutely gorgeous. So that is the wedding doll set there and that is pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at these Ariel dolls with me. I've thoroughly enjoyed opening them up and having a look and showing you guys which is your favorite that you've seen today. Let me know in the comments down below. A massive thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of my uploads. I will see you really soon. And um, that's pretty much it. Bye! Mwah. Yum, dum, da, dum, dum. Soon I'll have that little mermaid and the ocean will be mine. Do, 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 do.